Kelly Springer. Welcome to AM Buffalo on the almost eve of Halloween. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? Halloween may be scary, but I think the amount of sugar that we eat during Halloween is probably way more scary for you. (laughs) Well, as a dietitian, Halloween can be a little spooky, but... We are dietitians that truly believe in moderation. So have fun this Halloween, but just realize that the average trick or treater will consume about 3,100 calories from sugar in one night. That's three cups of sugar. So that's why I actually came up with some ideas that you can have some apple snacks, apple drinks, give out some apples because we live in New York State and we are so lucky to have the most delicious tasting apples because of our climate and rich soil. So that's why today I came up with some great Halloween treats like the caramel apple nachos from applesfromny.com. You can go there to find the recipe, but you're going to get all that flavor, all that taste plus fiber and nutrients. So as a dietitian that comes out of me, But you could bring this to any party and everyone is going to dive in and love this. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. So what is in it? It's apples with some chocolate and some caramel. Yes, and some marshmallow drizzled on top. So you are still getting sweet, but with the apple, you're getting that fiber rich source plus the nutrients. So this is a great swap out on any of those kind of like tortilla chips that you may have. So really, really fun to do nachos with apples. Plus we actually have our apple chips. So these are really fun. You just slice them really thin and you put them in the oven for about two or two hours at about 200 degrees. And they come up in these perfect little crunchy snacks. So lots of great ways to get in healthy treats during Halloween. That sounds absolutely delicious. I never thought of doing that with apples. My kids love them and it's just a great way to get in that nutrients, but start crunchy and really good. So just make sure before you head out for trick or treating that you do get a good dinner. It's something that I always tell all of my parents and kids, make sure you eat dinner so that you're not going to over consume on candy and also make sure that you stay hydrated. Oh, okay. That helps like flush the sugar through your system. Yes. That that <laughs> yes. And as you're walking around, you can actually take some apples with you. Just consume some healthy things as you're walking around. Oh, and do apples help? Like does the fiber help sort of push through any excess sugar and stuff like that that you may have in your system left over from Halloween? (laughs) Well, it actually helps to stabilize your blood sugar levels. So fiber helps to keep things at a a level like this versus um, simple sugars will go woo. So you're probably gonna have a healthier trick or treater and a much happier one if we get in some fiber rich sources. So grab an apple and and your yes, and make sure to visit applesfromny.com for all of these recipes. There's so many recipes on there. Great things that you can bring to parties, put out for your kids as snacks, and definitely walk around with some hot apple cider. It's going to be delicious. So lots of ways to enjoy apples. I love apple season. People may call this pumpkin season, but I call it apple season. It's always a pleasure to chat with you, Kelly. Thank you so much for joining You're welcome. Have a great day. There are some great recipes. If you love your apples like I do, applesfromny.com, you can go check out the recipes there. And of course, get healthy lifestyle tips at kellyschoice.org.